Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. This is beginner Pilates class. This class is suitable if you are new to Pilates. So let's get started. We're going to find ourselves standing on a mat. Just to start with, I'd like you to stand with a parallel fit and have your heels in line with the sitting bone and the toes are pointing forward. And try to stand with a nice upright body as tall as you can. And we're gonna start the class with some breathing. So place your hands on the lower part of the abdominal here. Now I want you to inhale from the nose and exhale out of your mouth. As you inhale, think about expanding the lower abdominal area into your hands. And then as you exhale, feel the abdominal muscle retracting away from your hands. And then you're gonna deliberately squeeze in a little deeper, like as if you have a corset turning up around the area. Again, we inhale, breathing into the area, into your hands. And exhale, out from your mouth, the abdominal muscle retract away from your hands. And then you're gonna deliberately, at the final end, Tighten up everything, like as if you have the corset running around you, lifting up the lower abs, drawing in the side of the abdominal, lengthening down the upper abs, everything focusing into your belly button area. Let's do two more times. In breath. And exhale. Pull in that corset muscle and watch that you're not tucking the bottom under. So really try to stand with a neutral pelvis. One more. Inhale. Now here, I like it to hold that engagement here so the abdominal muscle doesn't expand now. Now inhale through the nose and think about expanding the ribcage out to the side without letting the belly up. Then and as you exhale, the rib cage comes to each other, towards each other, and the abdominals still engage. Again, inhale. The rib cage expands sideways. Exhale. Draw into the center, and this is still engaged. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. One more. Try to keep this one in all the time. And exhale. Good job. And let it go. All right. Now let's go down to the floor. So we're going to line our back. The best way is to roll to the side of your body. Then roll onto your back here. And we're going to practice that lateral breathing again while lying supine here. So we don't have to be too specific how we lie on the back. Just go ahead and bend the knees, place your feet down, and then just place the heel of the palm and the hands around the lower part of the rib cage here. So we inhale through the nose again, expand the rib cage sideways and try not to blow the belly out. Then as you exhale, the rib cage deflate in and you want to see if you can get a little bit of a tighter abdominal connection there. Contraction. Inhale, rib cage expands sideways. Exhale, rib cage deflate two more times in breath. So the air that you breathe in is really going to be focused on trying to press out the rib cage, expand it to the side and to the floor, to the back of the rib cage. Exhale, we drawing in. Last one here, inhale. Expanding out and exhale, drawing back in. Okay, and let it go. Now turn your body face me, please. Stack the legs together, feet are together, knees are together, align the feet with your spine, arms are long in front of you here and you're welcome to place a pillow or cushion underneath your head if you feel uncomfortable in this position. Now stack the arms together here, our chest opener, we're going to inhale, stretch and slide the top arm forward, take the arm up to the sky, look up to the sky and then go ahead and rotate the chest over to the other side. And again, inhale, we reach out. 
Exhale, we close. Inhale, reach forward up to the sky and we rotate the spine. Bring the arm behind you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we close. One more. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, we open. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, we close. All right. And please get up. And let's go over to the other side. We'll do the same thing. Another chest opener. Stack the legs. Stack the arms. Rest the head down. Inhale, reach the top arm forward. Up to the sky. And rotate the trunk. Follow your eyes with your hand. And reach up behind you again. Up to the sky. And forward. Inhale, reach forward and beyond. Up to the sky. Expand the chest, use your breath and rotate. Inhale, reach away. And we close. Last one. Inhale, reach forward and up. And open. Inhale, reach away. And we close. Okay. Now let's go ahead and lie on the back here. Half your feet sort of aligned with your pelvis open your arms out to the side here now drop the knees over to me and you can turn your head to the opposite direction here and stay i like you to press up the top hip joint forward and see if you can deepen up that stretch and stay in breath exhale and deflate the abdominal in one more inhale press forward keep the shoulder down Exhale, deflate and bring the legs back in to the middle. Drop the legs over to the other side, head over to the opposite direction. And an inhale, we press the top hip forward. Exhale, we contain the abdominal muscle in. Again, inhale, we press the hip forward. Exhale, drawing in. One more, inhaling. Exhaling, and we return the leg back to the center. Take your arms down by the side here. Align the heels with the sitting bone. Now from here, going back to that corset muscle engagement, take an in-breath. Exhale, I want you to draw in the abdominal muscle deliberately and tighten up that corset that you have. Lift the right heel up and bring the right leg up to what we call a tabletop position without letting go of the abdominal. So I want the abdominal muscle to support the curve of your back. And then we lower the leg down, keeping the pelvis and abdominal engaged. Exhale, we pull it up. We move from the hip joint to lift the leg up and down. And we try to keep the angle of the knee rather quiet there. Exhale, so we are loading the abdominal to move the leg up and down and we're supporting the curve of the spine here. If it's too much pressure or tension in the lower back, you can imprint the lower back down to the floor a little bit more to relax the muscles. So you're no longer in a, what we call a neutral position. And last one, and we come back and hold the tabletop. Press your hands against the thigh here. Take an in-breath. Now, as you exhale, I want you to push down the leg and I want you to put a break in the leg and break in the abdominal and stay. All right, so take an in-breath. Breath down and hold the leg there. Draw in the center for five, four, three, two, one. Release, one more time. In-breath, exhale, press down and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And release and lower the leg down. Arms down by the side. We go ahead with the other leg. Take an in-breath. Exhale. Contain the abdominal muscle in. Protect that spine. Lift the other heel up and bring the leg up to tabletop without jolting or releasing the abdominal cavity. We lower the leg down and in-breath. Exhale. To bring it up. Movement comes from the hip joint. Bring the leg up and down keeping the angle of the knee constant at all time. The same thing here again. If you feel a little too much tension in the lower spine, you're welcome to imprint the lower back down to the floor and let go of the lower back so you can focus 
specifically with the abdominal here. So let's go two more, lower, lift, last one, lift, stay. Hands on the thighs, press down as you breathe out and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Again, exhale, press down, hold, five, four, three, two, one, and release, let it go. And lower the legs down and take the arms along by the side. Now this time, we'll go back to the first leg again. Again, get the abdominal ready, drawing in, leg up to tabletop, hold. And then extend the leg forward. I want you to draw in the center here and hold the leg there. In breath to the rib cage. Exhale, wrap in the corset muscle and hold that. So you can really contain the abdominal muscle towards the lower back. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one. We drag the knee in, we lower the leg down, other leg. We Prepare the abdominal, breathe out, pull in, lift the leg, exhale, pull in, extend the leg forward and stay. Inhale, expand the rib cage, keep the abdominal in, exhale, slow the abdominal to the lower spine and hold the leg here. Stay, just keep breathing. And let's bring the leg back in and lower down, moving on to our leg changes. So we breathe up, lifting the leg up to tabletop. We hold. Now, lift the other heel up here. As you breathe out, again, load the abdominal. We switch the leg. A little bit more challenging than before. Exhale. So again, take care that you are not going to push the belly out, that we're gonna protect the curve of the spine if you can't. Otherwise, just imprint the low back down to the floor. Exhale, so you wanna feel the work is in the abdominal. Two more times. Keep switching. One more set. Last one. And bring both legs up, squeeze them together. Open the arms up to the T position for our spine twist supine. We're going to rotate from the waist. Over to me as we inhale, legs travel together. And exhale, use that corset muscle, pull the legs back to the middle. Over to you as we inhale, and an exhale, make sure you are in control of the movement, meaning that you're not gonna let the leg just drop and flop away to the floor. And then come back. And over to you, in breath, exhale, center. Over to me, in breath, exhale, center. Again, in breath, exhale, one more set. In breath, exhale, last one, to in breath, exhale to come back. And we lower one leg down, second leg down, and we turn your body towards me. So we have the underneath arm long. We stack the legs together, feet in line with the sitting bone, knees are together, thighs are together. Now here, I wanted to just drop and flop away the waistline down like so. And then as you breathe that, I like you to pick up your underneath side and wear that natural corset of yours and support your spine. One more time, inhale, flop away, exhale, engage and lift up and contain your center. Now we stay. We're gonna really maintain this position. You can have the top hand on the top hip here and then moving on to our climb. We open the top leg up, keeping the pelvis very stable and quiet, meaning that as you open, we are not going to flop backward and rotate. So the movement only comes in a hip joint here. So we exhale, open, in breath. This is the clamps. Open, in breath down. Four more. Really still have the lower waistline lifting up at all time. Your corset muscle is working nicely to support the whole structure. Last one. 
and opened and release. Extend the top leg long. You can move the bottom foot forward. So it's about 90 degree angle of the hip and the knee. And a top hand can stay here. Pick up the underneath side, make sure you haven't dropped it down yet. And then relax the top foot and we lift the thigh up. We lower. Exhale. Lower. Exhale. Exhale. Again, pelvis is quiet. And we're just lifting the thigh bone up and down. One more. And stay. Now we bring the leg forward from the hip joint and we lift it up. We lower and back. So we're creating like an L shape here. Up, down, and back. Exhale. In breath down. Exhale. In breath down. Exhale. In breath down. Two more. In breath down. Last one. Now we're going to take the leg forward this time. We're going to drop and lift it up. So we're going to do five exhale. Five inhale. Two more set. Exhale five. Inhale five. Last set, five. Inhale. Good job. Bring the leg back and bring it down. Excellent. Bend the knee. Help yourself up. We are going to do the other side. And so we have the bottom arm long. Stack the legs together. Feet in line with the pelvis here. And then we're going to flop away to start. Okay. And then from there, we're going to pick up. Draw in the corset muscle. Lift up the underneath oblique. Draw in the belly button. And then we're going to lower down again and flop your body. And then we're going to engage. Lift, lift, lift. And we're going to stay lifted. Engage here. Top hand on the hip. And we open for the clamp. And we close. Again, reminder that we want to keep the pelvis very stable. Just moving the leg open and closed. And so we're working what we call the piriformis muscle here. So your external rotators for the glutes. A little anatomy session there for you. And so call the piriformis out. External rotators off the hip joint. And two more. Out. Last one. Out. We close. Top leg goes straight. Bottom leg comes forward. Again, we still have the abdominal active. And floppy foot. We lift. We lower. We lift. We lower. We lift. And four, and five, three more, two, one. We take the leg forward, forward, up, down. We go back, forward, up, down, like an L shape here. Exhale, exhale, two more times. Pelvis is stable. Last one. All right, we've got the little, little drop here. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. One more set. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Bring it back. Bring it down. Bring it in and lie on your back for a well-deserved gluteal stretch. So we have the right foot down, left leg up, external rotate like so. Grab the back of your thigh, your hands, your right thigh, that is, pull the leg to you and use the left elbow to push the left thigh away and surrender your bottom down to the floor and just enjoy the stretch. The more you pull, the deeper the stretch will be. So pull in with the thigh, push out with the elbow and breathe. Exhale. You choose the intensity of the stretch. 
and two more. Last one. And we lower and we switch. So we have the right leg up, externally rotate, loop your right hand through the gap, hands behind the thigh, we pull the thigh to you, we press the elbows to your thigh out, we stay, again, we surrender the bottom. The more you pull, the more you, the stretch becomes more intense. Again, breathing in. And we let it go. Lower the leg, release. Now I'd like you to bring the left leg up again. Grab the back of your thigh with the hand here. Now you can choose to have the right leg long on the floor or the right leg bent. It depends on the flexibility of your leg here. Now from here, extend the leg up to the sky. Hold on to the leg, we bend. Extend, we bend. You can also, again, stretch your legs out. If you have the legs bent, just give it a try and see what happened. And you're gonna feel a lot of sensation in the back of the leg because we are stretching the leg, especially if you are tight. And last one, stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out and stay. Pluck the leg down to the back of your bottom. Arms along by the side, have the foot flex there. We're going to the leg circle across the body, down around one. We exhale, one round, inhale. One run, exhale, inhale. Last one, exhale, we stay. Reverse, out, down, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, last set. Exhale, stay, point, bend, and lower. Bring the other leg in, grab the back of your thigh with the hands, and then flex the foot, extend the leg up and stretch out. And we bend. Again, the other leg can be down on the floor or stay bent as you wish. And I'm gonna straighten that leg out on the next extension, reach. I'm thinking of plugging the leg down to the floor as I extend my knee. Two more, reach, a lower bend. Last one, reach and stay. Anchor the bottom down, release the arms down by the side, half your foot flex still, across the body, inhale, exhale. In breath, exhale, nice and steady, keeping the pelvis quiet. Don't go too wild on me, exhale. We stay, reverse out, exhale, inhale, exhale. Control your abdominal so you can control the back and the pelvis, last set. Exhale, stay, we bend and we lower. Bend the knee, one, bring the other one in two, squeeze the leg together, have the feet slightly away from your bottom. All right, from here, breath out, Pulling in the center and then curling the head and the neck and the chest up. Grab the back of your thigh, bend the elbow, look at the belly. Can we concave the abdominal down a little bit more as you lift the chest higher? Arms long and release back down two more times. Exhale, prepare the abdominal. Lift the head and the chest up. Make sure you shouldn't see any bulging out of the belly as you come up, but instead contracting in. Grab the back of your thigh, look in the belly, concave the belly in as you lift the chest a little higher. And then maintain that height, arms long by the side. Come on down, last one. Exhale, lifting up, hands behind, and then pull the belly in, lift the chest higher. Take the arms along and come on down. Mini roll up or modified roll ups next. We exhale, we lift up. Grab the back of the thigh here. Use the arm, curl the chest up. Pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in. And then lift the back up. 
Now from here, exhale, we're gonna round the back. You can also have your feet a little bit further away here. And then we see if you can get the sacrum down on the floor, low back on the floor, pulling, 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 and then release the head down. Two more times. Lift, grab, inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, use your arms if you need to. Scoop a little deeper, pull up and over. Get into what we call the C curve position here. Make sure the neck is long and then just lift the back. And we round and then we rotate and roll the pelvis back. Get the sacrum on the floor, get the lower back on the floor. Then release the arm, release the head. One more. We'll lift, grab the hands, lift the chest high and in breath. Exhale, pull up, up up into the C curve and then lift the back up and we round the back. We bring the sacrum back, the back of your bottom, the pelvis and lower back down and all the way down. And then we're gonna come up. It's cause we need to change the position. We'll lift the head and the chest up again. Grab the back of your thigh, pull in and exhale, deepen up the curve over, over and we'll lift the back. Okay, let's move on to our front. So we go into our belly. We have the hands and the arms on the side of our rib cage. Your legs are long behind you. Your feet are together if possible or slightly apart. Now I want you to pick up the abdominal muscle, drag the shoulder blades down so you feel the middle back engaged there. And then from here, your legs are nice and long as well. We're gonna lift the head and the chest up, extend the chest forward and up, and then come back down again on the exhale. We go inhale, drag the shoulder blades down, lift the head and the chest up. So you feel that back muscle lifting you up, neck is long, gaze to the floor still, and exhale, come back down. Two more like that. Inhale, we lift, up. Exhale, we lower, down. And last one, inhale, we lift, up. Exhale, we lower, down. And now this time, take your arms long by the side. Palms facing your thigh here, same movement. Inhale, we lift, up. Exhale, we come down. This is an upper back and middle back work. Inhale, we lift, legs are long. Exhale, we come down. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. Well done. Bend the elbows, forearm on the side. Push the forearm down, lift up the abdominal, send the pelvis to your heels. Curl the tail under for our rest position and just stretch the back here. Inhale. Exhale. Relax the neck, shoulders, or any part of the body you feel that you are tensing. One more in breath. Exhale. And in breath. As you exhale, roll yourself up, sitting upright. Okay, and come up onto your knees, please. We are going to end the class with another diaphragmatic breathing and transverse abdominal engagement. So we have the hands on the lower part of the belly here. Okay, so we inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. This is exactly what we did at the start of the class. So we inhale, exhale, in breath, Exhale. Two more. One more. And 
let it go. See if you can continue to practice that breathing today, whatever you do today, and see and observe what happened to your posture when you start engaging your transverse abdominals more frequently. All right, so thank you for moving with me today, and I wish you a lovely day, and I hope to see you back on the mat with me again tomorrow. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.